Hi everybody, welcome back. God, I hope that doesn't catch on fire. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the products which I think are pretty bad. I bought these products in hopes of finding something that I love but my relationships with these products ended a long time ago and I'm over them. I think it's time to talk about them, tell you guys why I didn't like them, what made me unhappy about them. It's not you, it's me, really though. I'm gonna be as diplomatic as possible, but if you guys wanna know what the pro Okay, let me just get started. Let me start with the one that I don't think a lot of you would expect. I bought my first and last Mac Fix Plus. This is the original four years ago and I swore to myself that I would use this because a lot of the makeup artists that I spoke to, people that I worked with when I was getting my makeup qualifications, they told us to use this but the more times I use this, the more I realize it's pointless. They tell you that a Max Fix Plus makes your makeup look less powdery, it blends your makeup well together. You're supposed to like spray your face. My issue is it's mostly water in here. Okay, yes, it does include some elements that will keep your makeup together. So after a long day, my skin would look exactly the same as if I used Max Fix Plus because obviously this provides that moisture and that hydration, but I naturally have that because I have oily skin sometimes. So I really didn't see the point in buying this. I mean, this is not cheap, you guys. After I powder, after I put on my eyelashes, I really don't see the point in re-wetting my face again. It not only feels uncomfortable, but I have naturally curly hair. And if I straighten it and I spray this liquid on myself, it's going to ruin my hair. It's going to make my baby hairs go curly again. So, not a fan. Don't recommend to buy. You could just use a spray water bottle and just spray yourself with water. And I think like the exact same thing would happen. Mm. I don't think so. My next one is Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Cover Coverage Foundation. I bought this in the hopes of finding something incredible. I was told really great reviews about this and it oxidized so patchy on my skin. It looked like I had a different skin tone in certain patches. If I exfoliated my face, if I washed my face, I moisturized my face, I primed my face, I did all of those tips and I put this on and it looked great and about five minutes after it oxidized so patchy in certain areas of my skin. I mean, this was pretty terrible. Maybe in a different shade it's better. Um, however, I would more likely jump off a building and land on a bicycle with no seat on it than to use this one again. So, mm. no bueno. From L'Oreal, this is their True Match Highlight. I'm not gonna say I hate it, but I also don't love it. This is a liquid highlighter, and when I put my foundation on, my concealer on, I don't put any powder on, and then I put this on, on the high points of my cheek, but it just disturbs the foundation underneath. I mean, it's it's like a really pretty formula, but it just disturbs whatever is underneath. And I tried different techniques to blend it out. I tried it with a beauty blender, I tried it with a brush, I tried it with my fingers. It was definitely not doing what I wanted it to do. Maybe it's a problem in my application, I don't know. But every time I used it, I've messed up my makeup. From Bourjois, these are their Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. My issue with this formula is that these are pretty dark colors, which can be risky to do because if you're out and about in your everyday life and something happens to your lipstick and it smears across your face that's gonna be pretty noticeable I used to use these now I use such more matte formulas and these ones are a little bit more velvety and like for example if you drink from a wine glass it stains so I would not recommend using these dark colors in this brand because it does transfer. I would recommend using something more of a matte formula that's not gonna budge, it's not gonna move. If you kiss someone, if you drink something, if you eat something, it's gonna stay there. Because that's what you want when you're wearing a dark lip. You don't want it to move anywhere. 
but these do move and that's why I'm not recommending these for anybody. Okay, you guys, MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. Now, let, I know, I know, let me just, okay. It is a great concealer. The coverage is amazing. Like for example, I wanted my eyebrows to stick if I went water skiing and I hit the water, I wanted it to boom, stay in place, which it did when I used this concealer and then used some sort of eyebrow product on top. But you guys, it smells like, oh, it smells so incredibly chemically. It smells like a meth lab toilet bleach or something I don't know it's so strong and obviously like when you put this under your eyes if you are using it as an under eye concealer it just burns my eyes okay if you're if you're trying to cover up a birthmark or a mole or a tattoo this is great this is great for that but if you're just like an everyday girl and you're just trying to hide your under eye circles because you didn't get enough sleep because you were watching the Ozarks then this is really strong not good but I do love Mac but not this concealer. And these are my last two items, these NYX blushes. Ignites Passion, this is called Sugar Mama. The, the pigment is just not there. When I did buy these, I did test them out and the pigment seemed fine, but like, it's like, because you want your, your blush to be seen, you know? The whole purpose of a blush is to just add that natural flush back into your skin tone. Because when we put on a foundation, we put on a powder, it hides every single natural redness of your face. And when you wear a blush, it just makes your makeup look so much more natural because the, the redness in your cheeks is there. But when I tried to use these, it was like the, the, the pigment was like, out on vacation or something. I did try to load it up on my brush. I did try to scrape it off a little bit um, to see if if, um, if it's gonna be underneath. But I mean, it's been like two years and every single time I've touched them, I've been disappointed. I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. Those were the products that I did not like. <laughs> if you guys do like these products, then let me know because maybe I'm just not using them correctly. The only thing I know is my first impression of them was that's it for now. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will be back with more videos. Exams are over. Exams are over. All right, I gotta go. I'm starting to get weird and I'm really scared about that candle, so. <laughs>